Well, the latest actually from New York City is that the outdoor dining scene that we have here right behind me is going to be a permanent fixture. That means all year long you will see outdoor dining on streets and on sidewalks. And of course, summer's officially over. It's soon going to be the sweater season here. And yet diners need to start dealing with that, the elements. And that's why we came to Cafe du Soleil in the Upper West Side, where they got a little creative with these plastic bubbles here, protecting a lot of the patrons from the elements, also keeping people a little bit warmer. And these dining pods have been a huge hit. This weekend, I would not have the bubble because the weather is beautiful. But I got so much uh, good feedback from those bubbles that at this point, every single reservation is requesting a bubble. And you have another survey, too, from Yelp saying that 30,000 restaurants across the country have closed, and two-thirds of those restaurants may permanently close, so be gone for good. So here at Amiel, we're going to end on the bubble situation. Now restaurant owners have to get creative. They just found out the news. They have to figure out, get a propane tank, a propane heater. You're not allowed propane heaters on the street, but you are on the sidewalk, so I'd be okay over here wouldn't be okay over here. So there's a lot of things to think about, especially when indoor dining is still only operating at 25% capacity and that looming threat of possible oh, second time closures if the cases spike again. So a lot to think about for these restaurant owners. Here we are in a bubble in Upper West Side. Back to you.